Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Acquired Tech, and these are my pickups from the months of June and July. So let's get straight into it, and the first two cards you see in front of you are the HD 2600 XTs. Now both of these cards have 512 megabytes of GDDR4, which makes them pretty much the fastest 2600 XT. Unfortunately, it doesn't make them fast at all. They're just turds. Um, this one's a little bit different because it has a heatsink over the memory modules. That one down below does not. So this is special, I guess. Uh, the model number is slightly different. I think the clock speeds might be a little bit higher, but it doesn't change the fact that they're slow. These cards do not have external power. They get everything from the PCI Express slot. They're dual slot for some random reason because they certainly don't need to be. And um, the coolers are relatively quiet, but yeah. 2600 XT, I like the HD 2000 series. Couldn't tell you why. They're not fast, but they're kind of a failure series, and that's why I like them. So let's take a look at the next thing. Next, we have a note from Richard. Richard sent me some cards. So Richard, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate the note, too. Much appreciated. Um, he's a subscriber, and he sent one to send me a couple cards. So let's take a look at them. The first card he sent me is a GeForce 4 MX4000, and it's a display adapter. It's not a gaming card, it's AGP, and um, that's pretty much it. This card doesn't even have any vertex shaders, so it, it, it's not really capable at all. Um, but it's a good display adapter to use in my AGP test bed just to make sure everything works, and uh, which unfortunately it doesn't, so i got to get a new AGP test bed. Um, but yeah, the card works great, and it's in great condition, so thanks a lot. Appreciate it, Richard. Next card is the Quadro FX3800, and it's in not great shape. You can see here the PCB is kind of bent looking. The cooler is not in great shape. It's just, I fired it up and it just doesn't fire up. So it doesn't work at all. Um, it's basically a GTX 260, but with a memory bus that's been crippled a little bit in order to add the uh, full gig of the memory, GDDR3, and um, it's got a 256 memory bus. The core count, 192 cores, just like the GTX 260, slightly higher clocks, less shader clocks, yada, 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 slower memory. Anyways, it would be a cool card to test, but it's not going to happen, so sorry, Quadro. On another note, he did send me Big Daddy Quadro. So when you collectors are out there or looking for the FX5800 Ultra and trying to buy one for under $100, yeah, good luck with that. This is the card you probably see. You see a lot of them. And it doesn't mean it's bad. It's actually an awesome card. This card looks beautimous. Look at that. Six pin on the front there. Eight pin on the back. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You see this type of a design on the newer um, model of reference coolers or Founders Edition, shall I say. So um, it's got a back plate that is reminiscent of the two GTX 280 and 285. It's a sexy card. I love this card. It's really good looking. I got to get some goof off to clean it up a little bit. But it's a GTX 285, but with four gigs of GDDR3. It's a bit slower memory but it's got four gigs of it so Richard wanted me to test this against the GTX 280 and 285 and I will in the future let's talk about another HD 2000 series and this is the HD 2900 Pro Now this model has a 256 memory bus if you have uh, they do make a 2900 Pro with a 512 and that's got an extra six pin so that's how you can tell the difference um, it's basically got half the memory bandwidth of the 2900 XT but it has the same amount of stream processors, slightly lower clocks in the memory and core. But look at this cooler. It's black. It's silver. It's gorgeous. And it's not that common. You don't see many of them. And I absolutely love it. So I'm really happy I was able to get this. And uh, again, 2900, 2900 series are not fast, just like these little guys down here. But um, they're awesome looking cards. So yeah. We'll just set that in the background because it's so nice. Next card, GTX 275 Focus Co-op. Yeah, what is that, right? Well, I'll tell you what it is. GTX 275 GPU here. GTS 250 GPU here. So G92B, GT200B on the same card. It looks just like a GTX 295, but it's not. It's got a cool little backplate back here. I think the 295 has one over here too, but this one does not. Anyways, this G92 GT, uh, GTS 250 is meant to do physics calculations while this is to do 
normal gaming, um, normal rendering of the game, shall I say. Um, so it offloads all the physics calculations either off the GPU or CPU onto this GPU over here. So it's a really cool car. There's not that many of them out there. This is one, obviously, that was made to um, promote Batman Arkham City, I believe, at the time. So yeah, it was a game that had a lot of physics. I like to test this in a lot of different games, um, but it's not going to happen because it's dead. It does not work. Artifacts. Nothing going on here. So I want to fix it badly. Maybe uh, I don't really want to bake it if I don't have to, so I, I don't know yet. Hopefully we can do something with it. A subscriber by the name of Tom sent me an HD 7950. This is an awesome card. I had a couple of them in the past and they've always been amazing. Well, unfortunately this card, it doesn't work. And it looks like someone spilled like a, a liter of cola on the back of it or something because it just, is, there's spots, it's sticky icky. I cleaned it up a little bit, but it doesn't change anything. I tried to bake it, no luck. And uh, unfortunately it's dead. Maybe I can repurpose the cooler at some point. I don't know. We'll see. But Tom, appreciate you sending it to me. Now Tom sent me one more card, and it is a beautiful one. And again, he couldn't get it working, but it's the R9-290X. And man, I wish this card was working, but it does not work. Kind of bummed about it, not going to lie. The cooler is in not good condition at all. It looks like it's scratched up and I'm taking some permanent marker to kind of clean it up a little bit. But I try to bake it. I try to do... I tried to take it out to dinner. It will not do anything. It, it won't boot up, no display. And it's bracket, I noticed, is a little rusty. So it, it might have been exposed to moisture over some time, maybe dropped in a pool party or something. I don't know. Fortunately, it doesn't work. But Tom, appreciate you sending it to me, bro. M much respect. Now, the last card we're going to take a look at is the FX5950 Ultra. Yeah, that's right. I finally got an uh, FX5000 series card that's worth the crap no way i no way i can afford an fx 5800 ultra because they cost way too much money but this one i got it for a really killer deal i got it for 20 dollars, which is insane for a card like this in this condition i mean it's beautiful i cleaned it up it looks great it's got blue led fans right here they're a little little loud a little noisy but the card does work kind of my agp test bed kind of took a dump so I got to set up another one, but it was working, and then I put the drivers in, it wasn't working, and then it was, and then the AGP slot stopped working, and, the, and so yeah, long story, not worth mentioning, but I will want to test it out at some point. Cool little sticker here for BFG Technologies. This card is awesome. I know it's, I mean, it's not really fast. It, I think it's slightly beat out the 9800 XT, or it's pretty even for the most part, but regardless, it's a beautiful card, and I finally got an H, uh, FX5000 series that's not a 5200 or 5500 so yeah happy about that bad boy that's it for the video cards let's take a look at <laughs> fsp sent me a power supply it's platinum rated it's 750 watt and it's got a 10-year warranty and it's a monster so i'm gonna put this into a new build at some point uh so thank you fsp for sending this to me it's uh if you haven't heard of S fsp power supplies the, the why not they've been around forever they've been around i've probably been using their power supplies for over 10 years so they use um, these models are using. They make power supplies for other companies, and if you want to read up more about them, check out uh, Johnny Guru's website. Take a look at some reviews from Oklahoma Wolf, and uh, they're good. No problems. Great, great power supplies. So that's that, and it's heavy. And the last thing we're gonna take a look at today is a motherboard. Actually, it's an ASUS P7 P7P55D Pro. That's a mouthful. Um, this has an i5. 860 in it 760 i'm sorry 760 and uh yeah i don't know if it works i hope it does because i'm planning on building a computer for my son to uh, maybe help his fortnite addiction actually it's probably the exact opposite of what i need really need to do but um we pair this up with the gtx 670 and it'll be perfectly fine at 1080p and i'll probably upgrade this at some point to a xeon four core eight thread cpu because they're pretty cheap yeah great board Good, over, good overclockability, and it should be relevant for some basic 1080p gaming with a decent card. So, uh, yeah. And the last thing I want to show you is actually a cooler that I bought for my S. Let's let's take my time with this. S3 Gamma Chrome S18 Pro. I did it. All right. So this is a cooler for that card. It um, it's the stock cooler 
It's new old stock, but it's not the same as the cooler that's on my card. It's very similar to it, but it's not exactly the same. But I bought it because um, some guy on eBay is selling them. And, um, I guess not many of these cards were, were sold, so don't know the, the full details about this card yet. I'm still researching it because I want to do a video on it. But um, yeah, bought that replacement fan. So that pretty much wraps up the video. So thanks for sticking around to the end. If you guys want to send me anything, feel free to shoot me an email. I'll link it in the uh, description of the video or send me a, or leave a comment below or hit me up uh, PM on Twitter, whatever you want to do. I'll be around. And uh, thank you to everybody who sent me stuff um, for all, all the things in this video. So thanks a lot. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch the video.